Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my class, dear students of Standard 9. How are you? Hope you are fine and safe in this quarantine time. Me, Mafra Frut Shati. Today I will explain some topics from Chapter 5 and I will finish the chapter today. Today's topics are three states of matter, molecular kinetic theory of matter, fourth state of substance. At first we have to know what is matter. In classical physics and in general chemistry, matter is any substance that has mass and takes up space by having volume. You certainly know that everything of the universe is created by molecules. But molecules are not fundamental particles. Molecules consist of atom. Atom consists of nucleus and electron. Nucleus consists of neutron and proton. Proton, neutron and proton consists of quark. And scientists are assuming that electrons or quark are made of strings. Since the properties of matter exist in molecules, that is why molecules are considered as the smallest unit of matter. So let's know what is molecule. The smallest physical unit of an element or compound consisting of one or more like atoms in an element and two or more different atoms in a compound. Look, atoms, atoms together, atoms I, same well, atoms make element and different atoms make compound. Here is an example of molecule. Look, here two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms combine together to form one water molecule that is H2O. H2O. But when these H2O that means water it is split into atoms it does not exist as water. There will be one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms both in the gaseous form. Whether the substance is solid, liquid or gas depends on how molecules are arranged within the matter. Now I will explain states of matter. So depending on the arrangement of the molecules in a matter, matters are of three, three types, three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. Here are the examples of solid, liquid and gas. So gold, wood, brick, liquid, milk, blood, coffee, gaseous, substance helium, xenon, neon. Now explain about solids. Solids have a definite shape and volume because of how strongly the particles in solids are attracted to each other. Example of solids, rock, wood, sand, ice, chromium, etc. Here are two pictures of solid substance. Let's study about liquid. Liquid. Liquid have a definite volume but do not have any shape. It takes the shape of the container. Example of liquid, water, honey, household, with beach blood, mineral oil, gasoline. Liquids do not have a definite shape because particles in liquids are not strongly enough attracted to each other to stay in a fixed position like in solids. Here are the examples of liquid substance. Let's study about gaseous substance. Gaseous substance. 
Gas is the type of matter that has no definite volume or shape. This is because gas particles are weakly attracted to each other, causing gas particles to expand to fill the space around them and assume the shape and volume of the containers. Example, water vapor, nitrogen, natural gas, oxygen, carbon dioxide, etc. Water can exist in all three states of matter based on the amount of energy it absorbs or releases. Here, here are some examples of gaseous substances which are all around us. Atmosphere, then bubbles in soda, fumes from the volcanoes, helium in the balloons. Look, I have already told you, water can be existed in three states, that is solid, liquid and gas. Look, water as a form of solid when molecules held in fixed pattern but, but vibrating. Here the molecules are vibrating but they are vibrating at their equilibrium position. They will not displace from their equilibrium position. When uh, solid is liquefying or melting then we will get liquid and it is a reversible process that, process that means from solid we can get liquid by liquefying or melting and by freezing or solidifying we can get solid again. So molecules in the liquid packed close together in a random fashion, free to move. Now from liquid to gaseous state, after applying heat, then molecules widely separated move at great speed in the gaseous substance. When the substance remain in the gaseous state, then its molecules are free. The distance between one another is very large. When the substance is in a liquid state, then though the molecules remain, the molecule remains comparatively closer, but they can move with each other to one another. In solid state, molecules remain the closest, but cannot move with respect to one another. We are closely packed in the solid state. So summarize the three states of matter. Solid, rigid, fixed shape and volume, fixed volume. Liquid, not rigid, no, no fixed shape, fixed volume. Gas, not rigid, no fixed shape, no fixed volume. Let's watch a video which will clear the theaters of matter very nicely to you. Our topic for today is states of matter. Matter is made of particles. It exists in three states, namely solid, liquid and gas. <laughs> the different states of matter are due to the different arrangement of particles of matter. In solid state, the particles of matter are very close to each other. So, the particles hold each other very tightly. That is, there is a strong force of attraction between them. As a result, solids have a definite shape and volume. In liquid state, the particles are packed closely together, but they are much farther apart than the particles in solids. And so, the force of attraction is weaker than it is in solids. Therefore, liquids have a definite volume, but they do not have a definite shape. They take up the shape of the container in which they are kept. In gases, the particles of matter are very far away from each other. And so, the force of attraction between them is very weak. <laughs> Thus, gases have neither a definite shape nor volume. 
They can fill the entire space or volume of a container irrespective of the container size. Now, I will explain kinetic molecular theory of matter. There are some postulates of kinetic molecular theory of matter. Matter is composed of tiny particles called molecules. The particles are in constant motion and therefore possess kinetic energy. And you know, due to the motion, the particles gain kinetic energy. The partic particles possess potential energy as a result of attracting or repulsive, attractive or repulsive force. The average particle's speed increases as the temperature increases. The particles transfer energy from one to another during collision in which no net energy is lost from the system. Look, here a solid substance is kept on a table. The solid exerts a kind of pressure on the table, on the area of the table which it touches. But a liquid cannot be kept on the table, it can be kept in a container. And when we keep, uh, when we keep, some, uh, keep some liquid in a container, then it, the liquid will exert pressure in all directions, not only in one on direction, but also in all directions. All direction. That means lateral pressure, upward, downward, in all directions, the liquid will exert pressure. Look, here the gas gaseous substance if we want to put gas then it is not possible to put it in an open container then it is to be stored in a bound region and gaseous substance also exerts pressure on the uh, wall of the container in all direction How a gas exerts pressure? We mentioned about pressure of gas but did not explain its reason. We can explain the reason of pressure by the, mole by the molecular kinetic theory. If a gas is kept in a closed space then it puts a pressure on the walls of the container. This can be explained with the help of molecular kinetic theory of substance. In a closed region, the molecules of the gas starts moving randomly and every time it hits the wall of the container, it goes back due to reflection. Therefore, a gas molecule hits the wall with a particular momentum and returns back with a different momentum. And you know, to change the momentum of an object, a force has to be applied on, the, on that object. Hitting the wall, the gas molecules apply a force on the wall. According to Newton's third law, the wall, uh, the wall also applies a counter force on the molecules. Thus, the molecules is reflecting back from the surface. Here, the pressure that applies by the uh, applied by the gas can be obtained by using this formula that is pressure equal to force by area the pressure exerting by the gas is equal to the total force exerted by the molecules on a particular area of the surface dividing by the area dear students despite solid liquids and gases the three different states of matter Substances may have a fourth state named plasma. We know the number of the positively charged protons in the nucleus of a molecule or atoms is equal to the number of negatively charged electrons outside of it. That's why an atom is electrically neutral in charge. Under special conditions, a molecule or an atom can be ionized. One or more electrons of, the, uh, of some atoms can be made free. Then separately the atoms do not remain charged neutral. A kind of a mixture of ions and electrons is made. Though it stays like a gas, but all the properties of gas are not true for it. Like we know, a gas has no fixed shape, but 
a fixed shape of plasma can be made by applying a strong magnetic field. Look here, this is solid state, this is liquid state, this is gaseous state, and it is the fourth state which is called plasma, that is the lightning. Okay, and plasma is the mixture of, I have told you, what? Positive ion, positive ion and negative electrons. So what is plasma? Plasma is the fourth state of matter, most common state of matter in the universe, much like gas except free electrons, composed of positive charged particles called cations. Examples of plasma, lightning, stars, neon signs and auroras. How is plasma state created? A plasma may be produced in the laboratory by heating a gas to an extremely high temperature which causes such vigorous collisions between its atoms and molecules that electrons are ripped free, yielding the requisite electrons and ions. This is the plasma state, which is the fourth state of matter. Example of plasma, main example is what? Sun, star, lightning from the clouds, neon signs, flame, electric arc, etc. Plasma is being used in many high-tech industries. Here are the applications of plasma state. It is used in making many microelectronic or electronic devices such as semiconductors. It can help make features on chips for computers. Plasma is also used in making transmitters for microwaves or high temperature films. Here are the applications of plasma. This is plasma TV, neon signs, this is the bulb, an anticipating bulb. Dear students, there is a chart which shows the properties of plasma, gaseous substance, liquid and solid substance. Look here, mass, volume, density and shape, stable mass, plasma, no definite shape, density, gas, stable mass, no definite volume, density and shape. Liquid, stable mass, volume, no definite density and shape. Sorry, stable mass, volume, density and shape. In this way, different properties of plasma, gaseous substance, liquid and solid substance are discussed here. That means mass, volume, density and shape, relative position of our particles, particle interaction, independently acting species, energy, electrical conductivity so later on you will read out it i think it will help you for solving the mcq let's watch again another video which will explain plasma states very clearly to you Yes, plasma is the first state of matter in the universe. Wait, what? Is it true? Most people only know about the other three states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. But they often forget about the existence of the fourth one. So, what is plasma, you ask? Okay, let's take a trip down memory lane when your physics teacher talked about this state of matter. Hmm, you probably fell asleep during that class, didn't you? Okay. Everyone knows that the atmosphere is gas, the ocean is liquid, and the ground we're standing on is solid. These are the three states of matter that exist, and the difference among these forms is the level of energy existing in them. Oh, but that's not all. Plasma is the fourth state of matter on Earth. How come? Well, in a nutshell, you have an ice cube, which is a solid. 
If we heat it up, the ice cube will melt and dissolve into a liquid. Continue to heat it up, and the liquid will slowly evaporate, transforming into a gas. So, what if we continue to provide heat into this gas? Well, the temperature reaches several thousand degrees, and this gas will be ionized. The vast majority of the molecules or atoms left will only have a nucleus since the electrons have separated and moved independently. This ionized gas is a mixture of electrons, neutral molecules, and positively and negatively charged ions, which move chaotically. And there you have plasma. Plasma is the first state of matter in the universe, because 99.9% .9 of all visible matter in the universe exists in the state of plasma. The sun is a giant plasma. Stars are also luminous spheres of plasma. The lightning that strikes during a thunderstorm or the magical phenomenon of the aurora borealis are also plasma. Only on Earth or some dark planets in the galaxy can you find substances that exist in three states of solid, liquid, and gas, which accounts for only 0.1%. Therefore, plasma is the most powerful substance in the universe. Plasma's application in our daily life is very diverse, such as plasma lights, plasma screens, or plasma cutters used in mechanical factories especially a $14 billion NETR arc reactor in France that can produce plasma with up to 150 million degrees Celsius. Speaking of arc reactors, we have to mention Tony Stark's, a.k.a. Iron Man's, mini-type arc reactor on his chest. This small reactor, which is only a few pounds, can produce a huge source of energy. This energy converts directly into electricity, helping Iron Man fly up in the air or blast power to save the world. Well, if you believe in that kind of superhero stuff. George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, didn't really fool you with his science fiction. Remember the colorful lightsaber? Yes, it's plasma. Due to the control of the magnetic field located in the hilt, the arc light has a fixed shape. Is it possible that Goku's Kamehameha also produces plasma? Well, maybe the way Goku awakens his inner power by heating up the air around his palms with extreme heat is the same mechanism which produces plasma. Well, now you know what plasma is. Yes, it's the fourth physical state on Earth, but... Dear students, today this chapter is over and... Later on, I will declare the date of the te test, which I will take. So, till then, stay safe. Goodbye.